Okay. Uh, hey, everyone. My name is Anurag. I'm part of Calyptia. I'm one of the sponsored uh, folks. So Calyptia, we're the company behind Fluent Bit, Fluent Ecosystem. I'm also one of the maintainers for the Fluent Ecosystem as well. And really with telemetry pipelines, the first question that I like to start with is how have we sent data? Uh, how do we ingest data? How do we uh, collect that and, and route it to where it needs to go? And if you look at this about 10 years ago, it really started with a vendor provided agent and an observability backend. So if you're sending data to XYZ, the vendor provides an agent, it collects that data and it routes it to wherever it needs to go. Now the challenge with that and the problem that we're starting to face as an industry is really we're getting locked into that agent. So we're collecting a ton of data, it's only useful for that particular backend. There's a lot of data, a lot of costs, and you might have different folks who have different permissions for doing deployments to those agents, making changes. So it's not as flexible as we'd all like that to be. So how have we as a open source community gone and, and tried to address that? Uh, well, with the Fluent projects, we cr had this idea of telemetry pipelines and forwarder aggregator. Now you have a bunch of uh, different options, but the idea here is you separate out that collection tier from the processing tier. And you know, an example on, the, on how Fluent architecture, you could sub the aggregator side with things like Open Telemetry Collector, Data Prepper, Logstash, other uh, very notable projects. But you collect that data, very lightweight, stream it to a central place, and from that central place, do the processing. Maybe remove data, uh, maybe enrich that data, or really give the team full an autonomy to go and enact changes, processing rules, or uh, or different things that they need to do to make them successful for, for routing that data. Now the benefits that this can provide from an architecture standpoint, number one, you can save costs. So you know, if you're being charged for how much data you're ingesting, reducing that data obviously results in saved, saved dollars or saved uh, euros. From a productivity and, and time perspective, it can also mean that you're no longer waiting for a service ticket to go and enact a change across a large fleet. Uh, you're reducing time to mean time to resolution if you're able to add context that makes the operator or practitioner more aware of what's going on. You can save resources, so instead of deploying something that's doing processing across a thousand different uh, nodes, you can have it centralized in a place that you can scale up, scale down. Uh, and then last but not least, you're looking to how can you reduce some of these manual mistakes. So if you're deploying uh, in one central place instead of deploying across the entire fleet, uh, telemetry pipeline can start to, to help that out. Now, where are telemetry pipelines going? Uh, this, I think this is super interesting, especially in, in this room. There's a lot of good projects out there with uh, OTEL operator, Fluent operator, uh, and, and even, you know, for example, um, enterprise solutions like ourselves with Calyptia Core. Now the big idea is you're gonna be able to manage everything from a central place, so things like distributed telemetry pipelines like agents or telemetry pipelines that are centralized. You can deploy this within infrastructure, so wherever you have this stuff, it doesn't have to be limited to just Kubernetes. If you have this on Red Hat 6 or uh, something like uh, a cloud VM or even your laptop, how can you make that uh, centralized and part of that entire story? Um, things like load balancing, uh, healing, auto scaling, really that paradigm of cloud native starts to provide the means to, to go and do that. Uh, and then really uh, we're starting to see really cool stuff coming from the community and folks who are working on telemetry pipeline around user interfaces, centralized governance and management, policies, uh, and, and all of these different abilities to, to go in and do that. Now for us, say, you know, we're looking at this problem and trying to build a, a solution on top of it. That's where we have what we call Calyptia Core that builds on Fluent Bit. And the idea is one to provide things like simple UI, easy data processing that you can test and try, uh, and then also telemetry for your telemetry data. So how can you take your telemetry signals and provide telemetry on top of that? Uh, fleet management as part of that story as well, if you have thousands and thousands of nodes. And last but not least, uh, one of our new open source projects is as we as telemetry pipeline maintainers and, and folks who work on it 
we have found really hard to work with telemetry data uh, without having to ingest that data into a particular backend. So we created a really quick uh, project, and uh, it's it's now part of uh, you know Apache 2 Viva Exporter. Uh, you can route telemetry data, syslog data, whatever you want. Just view it. Uh, it's kind of, think of it as a visual standard out for logs, metrics, traces, uh, and it you know deploys in a less than 100 megabyte package. So if you want to run on your laptop, run it uh, you know locally. Uh, so this is a, a new project. We're happy to to show you kind of anything and everything. Uh, and thank you so much.